In the 1960s, Don Yanko emerged as one of the SCCA's top road racers. But Yanko became famous for what he did away from the racetrack. He took regular Chevy production cars and turned them into bona fide racing machines, selling them at his Pennsylvania car dealership. Not many were made and relative few still survive, making Yanko's some of the most sought after collector cars in the world. Today, four partners and their team are taking on a huge challenge. Build a replica 1969 Camaro that uses today's technology but remains faithful to the original. It's a gamble that could breathe new life into a legend. Over the next six months, inside this unassuming looking shop, the team at Brand New Muscle Car will be hard at work on a build of historic proportions. What if you could go back in time, walk into the dealer in 1968 and order a brand new 1969 Camaro? Pick all the options and you pick it up, every nut and bolt's new, it smells new, it drives new. That to me is really cool. That's what we're doing. The Yinko thing started when we were building cars, doing Camaros, doing Mustangs, and I started to think about marketing, licensing, specialty brands. You know, when you're building Camaros, you start looking at what are the kinds of Camaros I could build? RS, SS, Z28, Copo, Yinko. And Yinko was always very rare, very special, but kind of the ultimate Camaro. It was a dual purpose car. It could be driven all week to work whatever and then have some fun with it racing and doing events on the weekend. I think Don Yinko probably would have been able to do more if he had lived longer. But in the 1980s, of course, he died in a plane crash, and that cut his legacy short. I think they're the most significant collector car of the supercars of the late 60s, early 70s. When it comes to simple collision work, old car restorations, or new car builds, the guys at Brand New Muscle Car have seen it all. Each has a lifetime of experience in almost every aspect of the automotive business. Another thing, done. Each has his own quirks. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. Make sure the goatee is hanging down. And some members of the crew have been together for years. There is never not a great day in my world. Attempting to recreate something as legendary as the 69 Yanko Camaro is ambitious to say the least, but the brand new muscle car team loves a challenge. So guys, you know I love Camaros. I've had five. 1969 Camaro is my favorite hot rod. Beautiful car. Yinkos were the rare of the rare on Camaros, right? Thousands, thousands I, of Camaros. I have one question. Yeah? I know of, uh, you know, so many cars, and I'm particularly my favorite, but uh, who is Jinko? Jinko? Yeah. Yinko. Jinko. Yinko. Jinko. OK. Who is the guy? It was a Chevy dealer. His dad was a car dealer. He was a car dealer. Up north, right? Yeah, Pennsylvania. Raced cars on the weekends. Started with Corvairs. Started winning races, started making his own versions of Corvairs. So the Camaro comes out, the Camaro's big, right, 67, but he wants to do the biggest motor possible, right, 427. And GM would not put the 427 in the Camaro. He buy brand new 67 Camaro, brand new 427, put so them he together. Just, he'd convert them at the dealership. Yep. And oh, sell sweet. them as a brand new car and you sweet. get a warranty and everything. That's probably the first time did. that's ever been done. And he also did Chevelles, Novas, so we had a whole line. They're pretty high up on the list, you know, with Copo Camaro, Hemi Cuda, Boss 429 Mustang. You know, there's certain cars that there just weren't very many of. They're, they're big, they're powerful, they're sexy, and, and that definitely applies to Eco and rare. There are only 783 ever okay. out of the thousands and thousands and thousands and of Chevys and Camaros. And how many of them were Camaros? How many of them were Camaros? Only 198. Oh, so this so, is and one of them. 68, 68 and 69? That's 789. Okay, there's yeah. only. And then nine. There's only he made a, how, how many cars in three years? Then we don't yeah. know how many still in existence. Uh, yeah, that, that I don't know, but less. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they're worth a couple hundred grand. And then he died in a plane crash in the 80s. Mm -hmm. So the name didn't continue. Nobody was making cars, nobody was selling products, and it just went into limbo. And they hadn't ever done continuation cars before, which was really cool. So in almost 40 years, there's been no more Yinkos. The really ultimate was the all aluminum 427, so that's what we're building. They called it a ZL1. Got to build the best one, right? right? Right. How many horsepower do you think we're going to get out of it? Probably close to 600. Now, so there were eight colors, so red, green, yellow, orange. What color are we doing? Yellow, black stripes. Yep, there it is. OK, so that's the project. Yeah, just making right the Jinko. 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 Jinko.
So here we are with our new project. We've got a body, all new sheet metal from R3. We're gonna build a Yinko Camaro out of it. On the inside, we've already started to do a little bit of work. We've done the inner wheel wells, added a two inch mini tub so we can put on bigger modern tires. And on the front, we've done a little bit of etch priming, a little bit of seam sealing to get ready. We're getting ready to finish the seam sealing, do a little bit of welding. So we're gonna roll it over to the lift, get it up where we can get underneath it, work on it. Then we're gonna be able to mate it to our chassis from our friends at Chassis Works and get the wheels and tires on and it'll start to look like a car. It's hard to believe that I was fortunate enough in my life to actually have been involved in some small capacity with something that became this famous. I kind of pinch myself occasionally and say, was I really there or did I make all that up? Well, yeah, I was here. Classic Industries presents brand new muscle car Yanko Camaro is brought to you by Chris Austin's Chassis Works, the home of higher technology. Performance Unlimited, your crate engine experts, building your dream and ours one engine at a time. DJS Fabrications, the best mobile car dolly built today. And by Classic Industries, America's first choice in restoration and performance parts and accessories. From 1949 to 1982, this dilapidated building was once the home to Yanko Chevrolet. The building looked a lot better back then. Thousands of cars were sold through this dealership. But back in the late 1960s, this was a cathedral of speed. The Yanko sports car conversions made this place legendary. The Yanko supercar saga began in 1965 with the Stinger. Car dealer and accomplished racing driver Don Yanko wanted a Chevrolet designed specifically for road racing in the SECA's deep production class. So Yanko and his staff modified over 100 Corvair courses, giving them racing suspension and a lot more horsepower. Eventually, Don Yanko needed a car to compete in the faster Trans Am series. Enter the 1967 Yanko Camaro. The first grouping of them, just a half a dozen or so, were actually small block cars. There were just a few of those made, and there was just a whole lot done to them. And then as soon as the 396 was available from the factory, we had moved over and just changed the short blocks in them. So 427 plus the other modifications we did to them. People didn't realize how exclusive the cars really were, especially the early Camaros. Yenko was not a mass production operation. The records are somewhat ambiguous, but documents show that between Corvairs, Camaros, Deuces, Chevelles, and even Vegas, Yenko only converted under a thousand cars altogether. Now of those, only about 300 still survive. People ask, if Yenko was so valuable, why didn't people save more of them? Well, at that time, people bought cars to drive to work, just like I did with my Stinger originally. They went to work in the steel mills, the coal mines, factories, whatever. They wore them out. They rusted away. Five or six years later, they got married. They bought a Chevrolet station wagon from Yenko. And who knows what became of the car? So it's really very rare for a Yenko car to survive the experience of being used. It's nice that people preserve them and the value of them highly. It's kind of a shame that they are mostly trailer queens now. Once the brand new muscle car team unloads the Camaro reproduction body shell, the first order of business is sheet metal. Body pieces, including the hood, nose, and fenders are hung, removed, tweaked, and hung again to make sure everything fits perfectly. Ready to go up? Yes, please. I think that's it, Tony. The new bodies. He's he not coming with a seam seal. So this is what I, I try to do right now, to do the seam seal, and then the water does not go inside of the body. Well, right now I got some scotch bright pads, which we're gonna try to scotch bright a little bit towards the seam seals, which gives it a light scratch on the body. So when we lay our primer, we're able to seam seal it, and it holds, and it's just not right over some glossy paint or anything, and it'll be easier to fall off. I went in for the painter to bring my primer. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. So, look at this guy. I'm waiting for my... To ask a little nicer. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> okay. What kind of things do you do that, that nobody else does? Well... What am I doing right now is uh, take it up a little bit of the shiny and stuff, and then put the primer and put the seam seal to prevent corrosion. Well, this I, I need to put him right here because I think he painted today this. 
Okay. So I need to put them right here, here, and... And go all the way across? Yeah, all the way across. Okay. Yeah, make sure. All right. What am I doing right now is uh, putting a little bit of primer in the areas I need to put the seam seal so I can put this stuff on top of the primer. So it is good. Not, not bad, not bad at all. Going up. So then at the moment it's welding, I can finish uh, put them seam seal in here and send it to the paint today. All right. Okay, okay. So on. <laughs> you wear the mask. <laughs> yeah. Need to put the mask because I don't want to look like you when I got your age. You'll never be this pretty. <laughs> never be this pretty. Whoa! <laughs> How about that one? Oh, okay, you're pretty. <laughs> I love Martin. I think of him as a very much, much, extremely older brother. And uh, I mean, to the point that. You know, I think I might get him a cane for his next birthday. That one is a sexiness. <laughs> <laughs> so just where do you get parts for a 1960s muscle car? When we come back, we'll show you. Photos and documents shown on brand new muscle car Yanko Camaro, courtesy of Mark Gillespie. Or even more about Don Yanko and the supercars that made his dealership famous, Look online for the Yanko era and the Yanko era continued Cannonsburg and beyond. Before the car goes to the paint crew for primer, Martin and Tony brush on the seam seal by hand. It's an arduous process, but the guys insist on invoking 1960s methods to make sure this car is as much like the original as possible. It is authentic. If you see in us 1960s, he got the same thing with us. When we used to do collision, we would try to keep it as clean as we could, as straight as we could. Just try to make it look almost like factory, since nowadays cars are getting made like by machines. But when it comes to these old school cars, we try to kind of put it in our shells with a brush, just like they did back then. Sometimes it's not for looks. Using the brush, push the seam seal inside. They prevent corrosion or leaking water inside of the car. And still right now in the new cars, you put in seam seal. So this is why, because it's like more flexible when you're driving and it's more durable. If you want a show car, eh, it's another different story. You need to grind her, put in bundle, make it smooth, but nah, I think it's not the case for this customer. Okay. He, he wants to drive, drive this. It. Yeah, he okay. wants to drive it and enjoy the car. People ask me all the time, oh, you own a paint and body shop. Do you work on the cars? No. I have experts like Dustin, Jared, Martin, guys that have done it their whole lives. That's all they've done. Martin's granddad was a body man. He's a body man. I mean, it's a trade. It's a family deal. We yeah, around when I have like 11, 12 years old. That's when when I started being involved in, in the shop, you know. But actually, I started doing mechanic because my father is a mechanic. My grandfather, does he do the body part? And then I start to be an interest to see how he fixed the cars. He bring the car and then nice and beautiful when he leaves the shop. So that one was a little bit interest. Martin is one of the best body men I've ever seen. Of course, he brought Tony along, and he's taught Tony the way that he does things. So Tony is like having a mirror image of Martin, and I'm telling you, you can't have too many Martins. Look at Omar, so serious. Look at, look at him. <laughs> look at you, you're so serious. <laughs> you getting cheesy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and my little brother. The brand new muscle car team is made up of all kinds of characters, and while they're all different, they all share a common passion, the American muscle car. I can't ever remember there not being cars in my life. You know, it's always around them. For as long as I can remember, I've got pictures of me in a 69 Z28 Camaro at one year old. Cars just make you feel good, and there's, there's nothing like hearing that roar of a big block motor, or there's nothing like looking at the sleek lines of a, of a Mustang or a Camaro. You know, hey, do you want to build a brand new car from scratch? Well, of course we do. One of the great things about this shop is everyone here loves muscle cars. Whether it's a Camaro, a Mustang, you name it, we're passionate about it, we love it, we take great pride in our work, and we want to make the very best possible car. There's something about the American muscle car that inspires collectors and everyday car enthusiasts all around the world. And when those enthusiasts need parts, that's where Classic Industries comes in. Company CEO Jeff Leonard says this multi-million dollar business was spawned by his passion for a single car. 
when I moved to California. I ended up buying a 67 Camaro when I came out here and just couldn't find parts for it. So I went to a couple of local companies and had them produce cut and sewn carpet for my own car. And then I decided to put a small ad out on the magazines to see if there was interest elsewhere. That's when I realized, okay, this could actually be a viable business. And then we realized that there were a lot of items that weren't available, so we decided to reverse engineer some of the items. That's kind of where it all started. In those days, General Motors did not have a licensing program. And then finally, in the early 90s, they started licensing people to do different products. And because we had already been in business for quite some time, we became one of their largest licensees for restoration parts. We're doing General Motors items, Camaro, Firebird, Nova, Impala, GM trucks, some late model lines as well for GM. And we ended up getting into Mopar pretty heavy. And then we recently got into Ford. If we feel there's gonna be a demand for something, we'll get some OEM original items, we'll reverse engineer it, do a lot of test fitting and making sure that it's accurate where it meets or exceeds the OEM product. We've owned a trademark for Yanko probably for over 20 years. We were producing product for Yanko vehicles back in the late 80s. You know, we were making emblems and spoilers and wheel caps and all kinds of things for Yanko. We're proud to have been part of that legacy. The idea that we were able to produce so many products for the early Camaros, where you pretty much have almost everything to put a car together, and then you have people that actually want to build brand new cars like Dave Miller, we're really proud to be able to partner up with them because we think that there's a market for people that want a Yanko but necessarily can't afford an original one. I'm able to bring something to the market that people not only want or need, but they appreciate. I've been fortunate because we've got a really great group of people that work at Classic Industries that share in my vision and they are invaluable to the company. You, you can't do it by yourself. Well, waiting for Dave now. Classic Industries presents brand new muscle car Yanko Camaro is brought to you by Exalta Coating Systems. We paint winners. Scoggin Diggy Park Center, your source for custom built street to strip power. Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. And by brand new muscle car, building yesterday's dream cars today. How do you have four owners? That makes no sense at all. The biggest thing I equate it to is a band. You know, one guy's the drummer, one guy's the guitarist, one guy's the bassist, one guy sings. And what's great is, we don't want to do each other's jobs. Dave! <laughs> yeah, I need a bowl. No. What? I need a bowl. I mean, that's, that's that, that, that one bowl. is a big mama. It's, it's yeah, still look, look. Oh, okay. It's, wow, it's way too big. Yeah, nothing. Look. You used it on the 68. Yeah. Oh. That's a big bowl. Yeah. It's like a hamburger, no? You got the, you got two parts. You can, you can make a hamburger if you don't got the top and, and, and the bottom. So this is the same thing with us. He yeah. says, what the hell's taking so long? Look. Yeah. Uh, Are we ready yet? Why he taking so long? What's taking so long? See? Look. See? See what I deal with over hey, here? Hey, you're able to live a couple of centuries. You could wait a couple of minutes. <laughs> Martin's the best body man that I've ever worked with. Dustin's the best painter that I've ever worked with. I'm a people person. I love people. I love interacting with people on a daily basis. Hey, Dustin, I think you missed a spot. Of course, if you met Jared, you know that he doesn't need no help being up. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if it wasn't for him and Martin, we wouldn't have made it to the point uh, until David got here. So, and then you put the cars over there. You know, no, that one is more I am a sophisticated I am a technician, equipment. not a magician. Uh, I got to get this thing done today. Technician. <laughs> you know the word it is, technician for you? I want to make it look like you've been working. <laughs> I'm a working guy. Look, the, the, no, the good thing in me, I'm a technician. I'm working with, with this. I'm a magic man. man. I'm, that was a man. 10, 15 years ago, these guys all worked for me. They were employees. And so uh, Dustin and Jared were in the paint shop, Martin was in the body shop. Obviously, we all became friends. Painters! Freaking painters. I hate painters. When shop number one closed down, they started this shop, and then a few years ago, they recruited me to come back. We've all done restorations and stuff in the past, but Dave is the one that wanted to come up with this concept of, let's, hey, let's pull something from the ground up and try to make a business out of it. Shop number one was a paint and body shop, did collision restoration. Brand new muscle car, the build, was a side thing. It came into the shop when Martin and all them working there, and I went to the restoration guys and I said, hey, they're making bodies, we can build whole cars. What are you talking about, new cars? Yeah. We thought he was crazy. 
still kind of think he's crazy? <laughs> I mean, no one got it. The employees, customers, no one got it. Uh, of course, now, 15 years later, it's cool. Uh, I got oh. Why are you taking so long? Sorry, man. And it's only right here in the corner. Just kidding. <laughs> If it's, nice. you see? Yep. I'm on the money. It's doing it, yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah, very nice. And not, not hitting the floor. Okay, better. Do, 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 do. Go, 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 go. Right there, right there, right there. Right there. Hey, guys, you give me a hand, please. To push this car to the paint area, now with the, those crazy guys. Now that Martin and Tony are done applying the seam seal, it's off to the paint booth. The team uses the booth as an oven to help the seam seal cure, making the bond permanent. Okay, we're gonna hit the ramps, so the ramps are at width. Have lunch? Okay. <laughs> hey, I forgot to bolt it down. It's new though, you like it? Yeah, I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love the part where you say I bolt in the floor. Yeah, well, I was, I'm supposed to bolt it. It looks good though, right? Yeah, heat it up for a couple of minutes. How long? Like and, 15? Yeah, 15 minutes and 20. Put in 20. 20, 20 minutes? Okay. Yeah, and then let's go eat. Can you put my bean back? Let's go take, let it take a launch right now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dustin. <laughs> there was only 783 of these. Let's go build 784. Jinko. 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 That's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Let's go. Jinko. <laughs> <laughs>